There's no time to waste. Yeah, let's do Get it. All run off to find the, the lost engine. The, 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 oh, yeah, you gonna sneeze? Yeah, do it. Come on, do it, man. I dare you. No balls. You gonna do it? You do it. Do it. Come on. Do well, you know, I no? didn't have to okay. sneeze. <laughs> you know, Wait. for a second there, I could have sworn that I was about. There you go. <laughs> What's going on my spicy people? My name is Dan the Man, and welcome back to another Thomas and Friends video here on my Dan the Man channel, where I am back with reacting to more Thomas comedies in the Magic Railroad, and I'm on part three now. So yeah, what's up dudes? Um, I'm sorry if I look a little bit glum or something, it's just, um, I recently saw a trailer for something that you guys might have seen or whatever that I made a meme of. You know, it's a uh, season 25 of the reboot season of Thomas and Friends. I saw the trailer, and oh my god, it just gave, it just gave me, like, anxiety, PTSD, and all that. Like, like, seriously, Mattel has gone too far, you know? But besides that, which I, I don't know if I should even do a reaction to the trailer, like, no, I don't even know if I should or should, but we'll see what happens, you know? Plus, I did want to talk a little bit about the, you know, the comment from my community post that I made about the, you know, the old YTP word, sus, or sus, you know, because that's been a thing for like a long time now, and ever since Among Us, there's been this new word, another sus, but I think I'm kind of sus, because, you know, because let me put it like this, it always like, ooh, and you was like, ooh, like that, you know, so, and so if sus is for, is a, is a word for a YTP, then sus is something for, you know, Among Us. And to the five dudes, because I bet the five dudes that left that left the comments on my video probably planned this. One of them must have planned it. I know one of you dudes planned to leave those long, weird-ass comments on my, you know, my last post. You know what I'm saying? Because it's always with the dudes there these days, you know? It's fine. I try to be, but eh, it doesn't matter, you know? But what I am more focused on besides that... Besides the whole posting for some reason. I don't know why, what they were thinking of or why. But anyways, besides that, I'm gonna get back to this, I guess. And, yeah. So, I don't know if I should do a reaction to the trailer, though. But we'll see what happens, because I am definitely not gonna be so happy about this after what happened. But anyways, let's do this. Thomas Comedy's The Magic Railroad Part 3. I'm gonna do a reaction to that. But before I do, however, make sure you guys check out the original video down in the description. Uh, subscribe to Mullen Studios because you know he makes pretty good videos. And don't forget to check out my social medias Twitter, Instagram, Discord. The links are down in the description. And let's start on this video in three, two, one, and let's play. All right, dudes, I got the video up right here Thomas Comedies and the Magic Railroad, part three. Now, there's only two parts left after this. And yeah, again, before I do start, I just want to mention one more time I do know what Among Us is. Thank you very much. You dudes didn't need to act like you know, like, I know some of you guys are nice, though, although I bet, I still, I bet the five of them, you five, plan something about this. I could legitimately say that they're long, com weird comments or something, like, I don't know, like, some of them were alright, some of them were long or some. I don't know. Just, I could legitimately say that they are, that they are worse than probably the trailer that I saw. I don't know, it's just, never mind. It's, you know what, pass is pass. I'm sure they, I'm sure they just wanted to mess around being smart asses <clears throat> and yeah besides making a meme video about it or whatever anyways uh let's just get this started because i'm getting a bit off track here i'm just gonna f uh, hopefully this video will help me forget about what happened because i'm sure it will you know from the trailer to the community post poll tab that i made but yeah let's do this right now we do to copyright reasons some of the videos guys <clears throat> no, that's fine. I've already get this one before. Yep, not pro 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 parody. And I might pause on it sometime, you know. Last time so. in the movie, yeah. that little girl from Miss Doubtfire grew up. The Good trains one. try to solve a mystery. Yeah. A freaking wall falls over. Yeah, it does. And a lot of people complain that Peter Fonda is too sad for this movie. Peter Fonda. Well, you'd be one. sad too if your wife was dead and the magical talking steam train you were told to guard with your life didn't work. Good one. Now, here's more movie. 
All right, let's do Tom Co Thomas Comedies and the Magic Railroad. Let's do this, yo. Uh, up a bit. Back here. Okay, now Me. to the left. Oh yeah, the You're scratchy nose part. Why does he use a broom uh, though? That's still. <laughs> there, James. Take a log on now. Well, Kenny does a better job of scratching my nose, but you did fine. Wait, Kenny? I the name kind of sounds familiar though. I don't know if I do remember or not. But yeah, I, I still like how they. It, it looks like. They're actually they're actually talking to each other, but it's like the green screen and all that, you know, or or the person there. It's kind of a long story explaining. Okay. Yeah. Hey, what's wrong yeah. with you, Mister Conductor? Is it because I'm red? No. One time there was this diesel who mocked my red paint Devious in diesel, the most rudest fashion you could think of. Yeah. I still remember the comment he made. Hey, James. What's yeah? up, diesel? I don't like the color red. Wow. I feel dead inside. That's my face impression of see of seeing of seeing Thomas and Friends as a as a as now a show with Teletubbies and My Little Ponies mixed together in it and nightmare fuel, you know. Oh no, of course not, James. I think that red is bright and cheerful. Oh good. Just like my sparkle. Yeah. Or at least it was. And must be again. I'm sure you will, Mr. Conductor, don't worry. You know what I'm saying, dudes? Oh, I'm sorry, James. I'm going to the windmill yeah. to search for something important. Now off you go to work, please. Okay then. See you never. Yeah, later. I don't know how they did that effect where James just went past Mr. Conductor. It's kind of cool I did that though. Must use must use something more than you know Van Diesel. That's where I don't. To be. I don't know, dude. It's somewhere else, you know. The mountain scene was kind of interesting though, because it looks like well, more than beyond. I mean, how did you even get there in the first place? Like, I was trying to figure out if this is actually still part of Sodor, because I know it is. And, uh, however, this thing works. Whistle's not gonna work. Alright, right, here we go. I call this meeting the meaning of the, the Sodor, uh, something, something. Steam Team Club and Order. Club and Order. Club and Order. So no head count this time. But where's Percy? He went to Escalator Land with yeah. Diesel. When do we get to the ride? This is the ride! Yippee! Really? Then where's Edward? He's still hmm. in that coma after the Vicar's Garden part. Interesting. That's been like over two years now. Yeah. Then where's Duck? Screw Montague, we never liked him in the first place. Okay. What about what about the others? Like there's Donald and Douglas. They would they probably would have made yeah, they should, probably should have been in this meeting too, or maybe even Emily. You know, for all I know. But yeah, like Duck or some, I don't know. Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, I don't know. It's Percy and all that, but hopefully Edward is gonna wake up soon. I don't know. I called you all here so we could discuss this uh, lost engine Diesel Ten is looking for. Yeah. Henry here has been hard at work learning all about this engine. And I think he has a pretty good idea about this engine's whereabouts. Henry, your notepad. My what? Notepad? Your notepad. That stuff about the engine. You brought it, didn't you? I bet he didn't, huh, dudes? I'm gonna give you a really big clue. Are you ready? What is it? I don't have fingers! We have buffer hands? In the blue hell can I use a notepad if I don't have any thumbs to hold a pen? I got some. Then what was all that talk of you researching the... and keeping notes down? Who's that? You got everything I, I don't know what that backwards. glitch was, but okay. I have a photographic memory so I can Wait, memorize I can do this. everything I read. And my driver had a stand for me, so I can look at a book and Hopefully this video doesn't lag and all that. I'm sure it won't. You know what I'm saying, dudes? Besides that little clip, though. I'm sure it's not a big deal. But yeah. Didn't you notice the black stand that was poorly Emma's painted a few scenes ago? I did. Fine. I'm not gonna ask anymore. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anyways, Good back to this. morning, everyone. Hey, Birdie. Say, what's all this talk about a lost engine? Blah, blah, blah. Long story, it's though. It's a long story, man. I'll have to tell you later. We're kind After of in this. the middle of a meeting or something. Yeah, we're on a mission. Oh, yeah. Stay safe. Good. And remember, only you can prevent wildfires. Yeah, wildfire is dangerous. I care for the environment. I do, too, because of how it's looking Wait right now. Wait a second. Where's Mr. C? Calm me down. He said something about going to the windmill. But when I popped over there, he wasn't there. Hmm. Maybe he's looking for the answers about his gold dust or something. Maybe. Oh yeah, that reminds me about something concerning the engine. What's that? What's well, up? apparently the magic dust that George and Alec use is somehow connected with the lost engine. Alec what use. about Ringo? Screw Ringo! Angelus is best. Yeah, I think they're, they're talking about the narrators, by the way. Rest in peace to Michael Angelus, the longest Thomas Friends narrator of the show. You know, because he died last year and all that. Really sad. 
Anyway, what kind of connection? Think of it as a railway line that he uses to transport himself from America over to Sordor. So you mean this engine that Diesel's after somehow can travel to another continent? Yes! And my Maybe. guess is that the railway that Mr. Not George Conley Conductor Man travels on is weakening every day, unless that engine runs on the line again. Wait, so the engine isn't even on Sordor, but in America? Indeed. She so must Diesel be. Diesel isn't just looking for the lost engine, but the secret railway that leads to the engine's whereabouts. But yeah. how can that be? There's no bridge that leads to America. Too long ah, and far for but it. Unless it was an underground tunnel. Under the water, oh. not that yeah, maybe. I don't get it. I gotta okay, do. Yes, I don't know if it's that right though. Because I am not following this accordingly. You think I am? Diesel guy is looking for <clears> the engine, <throat> and the tunnel that leads to his whereabouts, but also needs to get Mr. Not Colin to lead him to that tunnel, thereby letting him head to America to get the engine. And if he finds her, I believe all the steam engines in the world are doomed. Wow. Really? You're taking this what? quite well, Toby. Yeah, why you calm, dude? Henrietta always tells me. Always look on the bright side of life. Bright side of life. Oh, bright nice. side of life. Okay, Mr. Outhouse, explain how Diesel finding the tunnel that leads to the engine to kill us all have a bright side. He doesn't know the hidden line. If he still thinks the engine is here on Sodor, we're still good. Okay. And it'll give Mr. C enough time to figure out the clues to his gold dust. True. Well, if that's the case, there's no time to waste. Yeah, let's do Get it. All run off to find the, the lost engine. <laughs> Oh, you gonna sneeze? Yeah, do it. Come on, do it, man. I dare you. No balls, you gonna do it? You do it? Do it. Come on! Do well, you know, I no? didn't have to okay. sneeze. <laughs> you know, Me. for a second there, I could have sworn that I was about There you go. Oh, crying he sneezed, though. Wow. Sorry, I just thought he was gonna do it. I was gonna, like, do it, no balls, you know? Well, get out of here yeah. before you infect us all. I got back coal already, and I don't need your help to make it worse. Okay, don't forget to wear a mask. Mr. Not George yep, Colin. masks though still. In the meantime, you all look for that tunnel that leads to America. Yeah, true. Where the hell do we start at? Does it look like I have the answer? Yes. I kind of spotted well, a goof I though. Don't. For some. Oh. I spotted a little goof with Toby not being there, but I'll do maybe do goof videos sometimes for a story, or another thing. But yeah, uh, start. I don't know. So. Who wants to come to my viewing of the Big Bang Theory? That show again? Yes, um, didn't the Fat Controller say you don't have to do those parties anymore? I know, but I like it now. I'm thinking of seeing Big Bang, Big Bang Theory sometime. Although I'm not sure about seeing that fan video, I think, made by this dude called When Dan is Sus. <laughs> oh, man. But I do know what Among Us is, and I know how to play it. Thank you very much. No one? Anyone? Oh, screw you guys. I'm going home. Okay, bye As then. I was looking for Mr. C along my branch line, he was busy <clears throat> eating some vegetables that were just <clears throat> growing up yeah. in the mountains. Like, I remember this really, scene. It was kind of funny, though. Fella that's growing Wait. a garden. How is that even possible, though? I don't know. Knows? I mean, a magical rabbit? Maybe. Or something like that matter. Yes, just all agreed this scene is cringy to watch. If, then, if, if, it was, if it was on high on drugs or something. He calls upon his cousin Junior and asks him to go back to Shining Town to find his backup supply of gold dust. Mm -hmm. And coincidentally meets Lily around the same time too. Yeah. You know, I just thought about something that I don't think anyone has asked before. What is it? From the time that Junior got to Shining Town yeah. and then when him and Lily left to Sordor. That was like a Damn it, come on. day there. If this was a family go. emergency, what was he doing there the entire time? I mean, surely the goodness Mr. C didn't hit the gold dust that well. well so what did. was he doing during that entire time in Mr. C's house? Was he like... That's kind of a good question, actually, because I don't know why, like, Mr. Like Junior could have just, like, got the gold dust after he got it and had the soda and nothing else, you know what I'm saying? Although I think the whole plot was that maybe he wanted to bring Lily just in case, like, to talk about soda and all that. Uh, that's just to to Burnett. That's what I'm just saying. Or I don't know. Like taking a nap, messing about his kitchen cabinet. Uh, seriously, there needs to be questions that we need to ask here. Uh, ask Britt though. She knows about it. Wow. Man, everything looks like an EXC uh, stuff again from last time. It's really bad than before, dudes. Even the viaduct. Lost engine. 
Not what I want to see there, dudes. Mr. Conductor, where are you? There we go. Thomas? Yeah? Mr. Not George Carlin. Carlin, yeah. How could I possibly say that I'm really useful now? Anyway, you can. He's gonna look Mr. for him now. Conductor. Where is he? Mr. C. Where is he? Mr. I can't really think of forever. anything else to call you without it being sounding repetitive. Where is he? This again, the chicken dude. Looking for Farmhouse. a tall dressed man in blue who currently resides in America and also works as a conductor man with magical crap. Have you all seen him? I have. He's up your ass to the left. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. Or, in that case, up your buffers to the left. I don't know. Uh, okay then. Whoa, Excuse you. Loud one. Yeah, dude. It must be low on coal. And water. Man, coal problem aside, where could he be? I don't even care about the lags or glitches, because I'm sure it won't be that big of a deal. You know what I'm saying, dudes? Or at least that's what those are watching. Implies. Hmm. What can I do? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe if I went through what? the opening credit sequence, I might find him. All right. Good luck with that, dude. Well, I guess while this is going still, I'm just gonna explain though. Just Google it. <laughs> Good one. <clears throat> well, if yeah, I'm I'm just gonna forget. At least I forgot about the whole you know community post poll to Crap! Thing. I didn't see him. Sorry. Excuse me. Are you Lily? Oh yeah, this one too. Oh, hi. But yeah, um, I think what was weird though, or not weird or some, I still can't figure out what the whole. Manas thing that I was just that was a little joke and then said had more this. Or what am I even saying right now? I don't know. You can tell Flash Lay wrote this bit. Probably. Yeah. Pay no attention to the man on the motorcycle. He hmm. is not important to the plot. That sounded a bit sus right now, huh? I mean, I all right. I'm not. I didn't even ask. It's just I knew that was that was PT Boomer, but. So it would have been cool if he was in this video. That way it would have been so ragey for general. But come on, like two villains? That'd be cool, you know? A, a human villain and a train villain. You know what I'm saying, dudes? Hello, Burnett. Yep. Oh, Hello. sorry, just a little snap right there. But I'm fine. So that was the meaning of the of the steam of the steamies. Now there should be one about the diesels, right? Maybe. Now this music though. Some things never leave you. I'll never forget the first time I saw you. I love that song, though. It's kind of catchy, though. <clears throat> and, of course, there's Lady doing her echo whistle or some. Who the heck is that? Oh, hi there. Hello. I'm just, uh, what are you? whistling. Whistling? It's quite fun. What? He's doing that? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. What's that right here? Is that a cute little baby kangaroo? Can't be though. D don't ask why there's a kangaroo here in Pennsylvania or Pittsburgh. Wait, where is he? It's actually a funny story. It all started with my oh crap! No, oh, okay, Pokemon, get him out of here. There goes Percy. A bit of a moon right there. Yeah, he's back from his you know trip to DC with Diesel. I don't know what happened to Diesel though, but yeah. So there's Gordon. You know what? Very nice There's Diesel 10 again. No, really, yep. it is. It's very nicely structured and I mean, cozy. Yeah. <clears throat> I just wish there was someone to share it with. How about my, how about my evil brother? Oi, you, Crane! Brother, yeah. Uh, my evil what? brother. Want to share the shed with me or Cranky? whatever? What? If it means getting out of the way, I'll take it. Cool. Wait, Never. how are you even going to get in here? Just take your claw thing and cut my legs up and insert my face in there. That sounds uh, brutal, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. I mean, I am usually kind of sadistic, but Enemy one. I have a soft side for cranes. I know some people that could be sadistic, you know, the haters of YouTube, am I right? But yeah, I bet my evil brother could have shared this shed with him, because there is one more space right there, and I think it would have been for D216 or Boulder, but anyways. Wait, weren't you at the docks earlier? Oh, I got relocated. Oh. Wait, relocated? How the hell does a crane get yeah, you? Yeah, I don't know I how. Talk right now. I'm busy eavesdropping. All right, then. Hi, Percy. How was Almost. Escalator Land? Oh, it was loads of fun. But it was... And then afterwards, we went to D.C. and I brought you back nice. this souvenir from the Lincoln Memorial. Wait, That's DC? the Washington Monument. It is? Yeah. I don't know the names of these memorials. Fun fact, I've been to Washington, D.C. before, like, a few, <clears throat> a few summers ago when I... 
when I was like uh, on a business trip with my family. It was really nice there, but it was like so hot. I, could, I had like a lot of water to drink and stuff. The building's really nice there, like old and all that. I feel bad for the capital how for the capital though of what of what happened to it, which I don't want to talk about because I know it was a few days ago in the past. But anyways. But anyways, Henry was telling me about how you guys think there's a hidden tunnel that leads to the lost engine. Why the ground. Yes. It seems to make sense seeing how the engine is in America. True. America. Now he knows but America. I was thinking, if there's a tunnel that leads to America, wouldn't it have to be an underground tunnel, like under the sea? Most likely. Probably. Actually, just by mentioning that, it sounds completely stupid. Interesting. My point exactly. So, what if, and just hear me out, yeah. what if, instead of an underground tunnel, what if it was a secret railway? You know, like a teleportation device or a magic opening Maybe. to Maybe that, that one. railway. Yeah, but where would this magic opening be? Well, yeah, last maybe in a pair night, of George buffers? Carlin, Get it. Man person was talking in his sleep. Really? <clears throat> I thought that was you. I maybe. don't talk in my sleep. Oh, don't you now? What about this, huh? Are you seriously talking about My Little Pony, bruh? Okay, maybe I do, but I've been getting Whatever. out of that habit, and you know it. I'm not even Actually, gonna say anything. he was talking about buffers and a lost engine in his sleep. Yep. So maybe this magical opening to this railway is located in a pair of buffers? Maybe. Yes. and if the magic engine doesn't run on the magic railroad, then Mr. Conductor won't have any more gold dust. <clears throat> Man, this is sounding more and more like a bad Stephen King novel. Yeah, with Only it. minus the weak ending oh, see, and disappointing so. payoff. Here goes. All right. We gotta tell the others about uh, it. doesn't look like cranky though. Know about oh! Oh yes! <laughs> nice! Put straight down the middle of the track anyway. Sorry, my bad. My hook's a bit rusty. That's what that's what he gets for eavesdropping though. Because like dudes, he's like a giant yellow fat ass that doesn't even know where he's going or whatever. Which I mean say that, but still. Isn't Cranky supposed to be at the docks? He got relocated. Yeah. Ah. How the hell do you relocate a crane that big? That's my well, question. it involves Wait. several oh, semi trucks taking bits and pieces of a crane. Yeah. How long have you been here? I was just over here thinking on how to solve world hunger Good when one. I noticed Diesel 10 crashing into a crate of bananas. Diesel 10 was here? Yes. He was hiding behind that shed in the back. Wait. But luckily, you two weren't talking about anything revolving the lost engine and the secret tunnel, right? Tunnel? I'm sure they were. Don't worry, Toby. We weren't talking about the secret tunnel. Were you? No, we were talking about how the lost engine has a magical railway that acts as a teleportation device that is located inside one of the buffers on this island, and that if the engine doesn't run on the railway, then Mr. Not George Carlin Conductor Man Person Guy won't regain his magic gold dust back. A lot of talking, huh? You know, nothing important. More than me, I guess. I'll follow I don't Diesel know. 10 to where myself. he's going and eavesdrop. While you two get your buffers working on taking the mail. Okay, then. But, Be careful, Toby. But Thomas oh, doesn't even worry. take the mail, dude. I'm as quiet as a mouse. Good. I can disguise myself within the scrap. Good luck with that, dude. Anyway, do you still have that DDR machine to take to Mrs. Kindly's house? Yeah, DDR I think machine. So. Come on. Yes, take it over there. I want to know how it works. Yeah, Good me luck too. with that, though. Oh. And for the record, what? Fluttershy is the best really? pony. Oh, f you. <laughs> really, dude? Oh, this one, though. I've been working on the railway all live long this day. Like you know, who, who, wants to, who even wants to work a live long day anyway? Am I right, dudes? Come in, uh, these two again, you know. Or Another meeting. I discovered something very important a few minutes ago up at Natford. Yeah? The lost engine that we've been looking for is no longer on this island. Really? So you illegally hijacked a boat trip and threw the new diesel off the boat for nothing. True. Well, not necessarily. But you threw Derek now, off the boat. the engine turns out to be somewhere in America. Good. In America? How's that good? Because yeah. now I don't have to waste my time looking for some dumb damsel in distress. <laughs> True. I can go back home and sleep for the rest of my days. <laughs> While Splatter here can join the fishies in the ocean. <laughs> Wait, what? Hey! Face it, Splatter. You don't live a huge impact on any of us. <laughs> no one like you. Really? That's not true. This old boy waved at me earlier. Oh. Is that it? I mean, yeah. it's better than nothing. Okay. You really don't leave an impact on anyone. <laughs> I don't even remember. Remember your name. Shut your face holes! Aye, aye, sir. Now listen up and listen good. 
I'm gonna find Alec Baldwin Mr. Conductor. and force him to show me the magic buffers. And when we do find the magic buffers, what will you do with them next? That depends. Have either of you ever read a creepy pasta before? Oh, lots of times. I've read. Uh, I have. I haven't actually read creepy pasta video uh, like stories, but I have seen all the videos about them. The most ones that I don't know if they do count or not are Trevor Henderson's monsters. You know, I've seen like all of them and really twisted, cool-looking monsters. Most popular one, Siren Head. Well, I'm gonna reenact a scene from my favorite creepy pasta. What? Cupcakes. What? That doesn't sound like a very threatening story. I remember that video, kidding, but right? yeah, this it has a cute little pony cutting out parts of another pony and then turning that pony into cupcakes. If that's not scary or threatening, then I don't know what is. I mean, I don't think that counts creepy pasta since I saw a video of it once and some other one. I think it was called Smile HD, probably. What about the smiley dog? Wait, nah, I never really got around to uh -oh. that one yet. Right now, I'm caught up watching Shed Seven. Wait, who said that? Oh crap! Damn it. Come out, you! Uh? Whoever you are. Oh, screw you! Take the bell. Wait, I oh, know that sound. It's Toby, the old outhouse. Uh oh, Fashion oh he's in the house out again, dudes. Point. Yeah, I think that. Help. Suckers. Watch this. La 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 Oh man, I remember the la 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 song or something, I don't know. Is this a bad time to ask why you knocked the shed down? Yeah, that was kind of stupid of you. Yeah. I really don't have an answer at this moment. Pinchy just kind of has a mind of his own, alright? Does he know? This ain't over. Simpsons, and that's it! Part 3 is over. You know, I think this did make me feel a little bit better. But actually, if I had to suggest or to say something about this... It would be not only of the two meanings, like one for, you know, this, this, the steamies and one for the diesels, but, you know, and I'm on this meaning, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, there's only two left, this one and this one. So, should be easy streak from here, no problemo. And yeah, these are one of the Thomas and Friends fan movies I was thinking of seeing sometime. Defenders of Sodor by I Love Trains 323, that's how I remember. Sometime in the future, whenever I want to. Because I don't know what's next. But I hope you all enjoy my reaction to part 3. Because this one was pretty good, though. It just wasn't... It just looks like some yelling and all that. Except for the whole part with Thomas looking for Mr. Conductor and all that. But yeah, that scene where he was, like, eating carrots and celery. It was kind of interesting, though. I don't know if it was counts as cringe or something. But it's it, it was like... Hmm, what am I eating? Is this... Is this is this brain is this a type of drug for brain foods or drugs brain food? I don't know. It looked like the vegetables have drugs in them or something. Do vegetables secretly have drugs though? Because if they do, then I don't know. <clears throat> Anyways, thank you all for watching. You know of me reacting to part three, and stay tuned for part four. Well, that's it, everyone. That is my reaction to part three of Tom's comedies and the Magic Railroad. Now this one was pretty good and all. It's just besides the whole beginning thing of what I said, probably some parts in the middle and all that. I'm not definitely gonna say not say for the ending of this, but if I had to say something about this video, it mo it had two scenes, you know, like two that were probably important or something. There was the steam team meeting and there was the diesels meeting, you know, because a steam a steamies meeting and the diesels meeting kind of makes sense, you know, because like either with or without more. It should have been like, possibly, uh, yeah. Although I wonder what would happen if Percy was in that meeting too, because that way, if Edward was there, they would be able to have enough screen time for him where he, he and Thomas would talk about the lost engine, magic buffers and all that, instead of like Percy, you know what I'm saying? But no, they just didn't care about having enough time now, did they? But whatever. Um, yeah, there's only two parts left, part four and part five, so stay tuned for those, because after I'm done with those two, I'm gonna get on with some manas, you know? And no, what I just said right now th doesn't count, you know? What does count, though, is that I'm done with this video. So thank you all for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video, because I sure did. Like, with the whole, you know, because that's twice in a row that Diesel 10 has knocked the house down. First it was the frame wall of the sheds, you know, Tim Myth sheds, 
And then the wall of the shed of the scrapyard, I think it was? I think it was probably the scrapyard. I thought it was, like, something else, but I'm sure it's nothing. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I'm Dan the Man, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Bye. -bye. Bye.